Okay, here we are. We got our design laid out just like we want it on our Cricut Design Space, the size that you want. And I used an actual square shape so that I could see, where's my square? <laughs> there it is. So I could see how I wanted it laid out on my shadow box. I measured it. It was seven and a half by seven and a half. And so I made a square that size and that way I could see how I would want my design to be laid out on my shadow box glass. When you're ready to make, the first thing you are going to do is hide that square because we're not gonna cut the square, we're just gonna cut the words and the bunny. And then after that, you're gonna make sure that you have attached your wording. So you're gonna click on it, and mine's already attached. You would go down here at the bottom and click attach. Mine's already attached. Okay, you're ready. So you're gonna click on the make it. It's gonna show you it on your mat. We don't need for those to be attached. You could have attached the whole design and laid it at once, but I prefer to lay my bunny and my wording separate. I just think it'll be easier to get it where I want it. Now what I do need to do is mirror it, so I'm gonna click right here. And the reason for that is I'm going to put my bunny and my wording on the inside of the glass, which is gonna be a little tricky. I'll show you on my shadow box why, but I think in the long run it's probably better because I can clean the outside of the glass whenever I need to. So we're ready to cut. Let me show you the shadow box. So here's the shadow box and you can see the glass is attached. So it's got a depth of a couple inches. It'll make it a little tricky to put in there, but I've done it before. I know I can do it. I have my piece of black 651 vinyl on my mat ready to go. So I'm going to stick it in my Cricut. It's ready. I've got it set for vinyl. And now I'm gonna go back over to my computer. I'm gonna click on continue. It's gonna to connect to my Cricut, hopefully, if the Bluetooth works, and we're gonna get it cut out. And then we'll see how it looks. Let's start it cutting. So what I'm gonna do is after it cuts, I will have a picture to show you how it looks, and I will continue with the directions on making the shadow box.